Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation well to get his head on that but couldn't score Ecuador can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source and the weighted pass Balotore goes looking. Idrissa Gay. He's through the middle. Ecuador still without an attempt on target. Hoists it forward. That'll be a throw. Tries to get it forward quickly. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Balotore. Keita. Balotore, looking for space out wide, up to meet it, harmlessly behind. Balotore. Keita. Balotore. Idrissa Gay. And here's Mane. And it's Gay. Kuyate pumps it into the area. And it's played forward, done very well to intervene. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Out to the left it goes. Lovely bit of skill. Balls out on the left now. Keita. It's going to be the final action of the first half. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, and still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. So they head in no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. They're already back on the way here. Ecuador can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little fire. And the finish! Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. A real chance if he can get through. Oh, he's broken through.
And here's Keita. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Crosses it in. Drives it towards the front. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's picked him out. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Danger averted for now. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Good clearance and very necessary. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts, because he has put in a real honour shift. Now it's Mane. He's in, goes for goal! It's in! Well, what a signal that is for the opposition. There really isn't much time to get a goal back now. Talking about drama. Senegal are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Senegal break the deadlock. Yeah, it's been their hard work that has got them this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take a toll now. Idris again. <laughs> and it's Kuyate. Now it's Mane. There are a few waiting for it. Mane's cross. Time and a shoots. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, as Tesco keep. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So it ends 1 0. An enthralling game and an agonizingly narrow defeat. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, they were posed with problems in wide areas.